of the anti-workout, so you don't need any equipment except for a timer. So you want to set your timer for three rounds of 60 seconds of work. There's four different, um, I guess, exercise combinations, and you're going to do each of them twice. So you'll do all four, and you'll do all four again. So you're going to do a three-minute block of work, and then don't wait too long, but take a little 10-second break, just enough time for you to reset the clock and move on to the next one. So basically what we're going to do is start with a base movement and then up the ante and make it a little bit harder as you move into the second and then the third minute of the three-minute block. The first one's a dive bomber push-up. So you're going to start uh, in like a downward dog type of a position or a pike position. And to do the dive bomber, you can take your feet wide and you're going to scoop with your body. So I'm going to aim with my nose, then my chest, then my stomach, come up to the top, squeeze your triceps up here, and then reverse that move on the way back. So it looks like a scoop and a scoop. If you need to modify this, you can take out the reverse scoop so you can scoop down and then just lift your hips back up to the top. Now, after you get through minute one, if you're ready to make that a little bit harder, we're going to do it with one leg. So you're going to get down into the position, lift one leg up, try to balance yourself, do that scoop, do that scoop, lose my neck, <laughs> and then switch legs and do the other side. And now on the third minute, if you want to make it a little bit harder still, you're going to get into this position, one leg up. You're going to do your scoop and your scoop. And then from here, do a little pop up and then switch legs. So do your scoop, do your scoop, and do a little pop up here. So that's your first one. <laughs> the second one is oh, you're going to stay down. You're going to be doing uh, some ab work. So on your back, you want to keep that back nice and flat onto the ground. And you're going to be doing leg lifts, so you can put your hands under your bum for some back support. And so you're just going to come up and down, oh good, you get the good noise. So you can pop straight up to the top to make this a little bit harder. On minute two, you're going to go into split kicks, so keeping that back down nice and flat, doing a nice big split kick. And then minute three, to make it a little bit harder, you're going to helicopter. So you're going to just do these little tiny crossovers with your feet up and down for that last minute. That's your ab portion. Then we're going to go into some legs. So we're going to start with squats. Just regular body weight squats, pushing your butt back, knees tracking on top of your toes, squeezing your bum when you get to the top. When it comes time for minute two, take it up to a ballerina squat. So up on your toes. And this is the fun balance one. <laughs> So you've got to keep your core nice and tight. Try to control that movement as you go up and down, keeping those heels up as high as you can. Minute three, to make it harder, we're going to add in some punches, which is really going to test your balance. So try to keep up on those toes and add those punches in as you come up and down. And then our last one is going to be a plank. So you're going to start in a regular plank. So a nice, strong push-up position, tight core. And you're just going to hold this for your first minute. On minute two, you want to start doing a cross knee. So I'm taking my right knee and touching it to the top of my left elbow. And you're going to feel a nice big squeeze in your core. And you don't want to fall under it as you do it. Try to stay nice and flat. So this is um, minute two. Minute three, you're going to cross under, extend that leg out and kick. Bring it back. So cross under, extend it out, and kick, bring it back. Now the trick with these, because it's an up the ante, is to decide what you're most comfortable with. And if you just want to stick with the first position, say it's just the plank, and do that for three minutes, that's still going to be a really big challenge. So don't worry if you don't feel comfortable moving up into the second or third variations of the move. So just do whatever you want, and doing a three-minute block of Pretty much one exercise, it's just going to be really challenging on its own. So have fun.